All right, so I just wanted to hop on and give a quick update on the bodybuilding progress. Um, well, there's not actually much of an update. It's been about two weeks since I made that first video where I took my measurements and everything and not much has changed. Like, I don't think I even need to like retake my measurements because I, I haven't really been um, focusing too hard on you know, making the changes to my body yet. Like I said in the first video, this time, for the time being, it's more like just slowly building good habits and building up to eventually be able to compete. So if you're following me to see like a rapid, quick transformation, um, that's not gonna happen. It may happen later on, but not for right now. Um, <laughs> and I just wanna address, so I got a comment that said on that last video that said, you've got a long way to go, get more motivated in your training. And um, yeah, I mean, that's absolutely true. Like if I'm, when it gets time to compete, I know, like I, I, t I do understand, like it's not, it's not easy. And I didn't really talk about this in the other video, but I actually had started um, more seriously training um, last year. Actually, it was about this time last year. It was like June of last year that, I really decided that I wanted to do it and I was going to focus and like really start training and yeah I mean it, it's it's hard like if you have like a goal for like an actual show to compete in and you're and you're starting to train like it's hard um but I think by me doing that last year it made me understand you know how much time like the to me it was really the time commitment um I thought I had the time to commit but um, I work full time, I'm in a PhD program, and realistically, um, I don't think that I'll have the time to commit um, probably this year um, to fully commit and train for one. So it'll probably actually be next year. But like I said, what I'm trying to do right now um, for this year is to just build up habits and routines and things that whenever I do start to get super serious and when I pick like a competition and a coach and everything, um, I'll be ready for it. So I'm going to the gym every day, even though I'm just walking right now, whenever I go to the gym, I'm getting in the gym early in the morning every day. Um, I'm getting a little bit of cardio, like kind of slowly upping the cardio a little bit, but I'm not, again, I'm not trying to push too hard right now because I don't want to like overdo it at this point. Um, I remember when I started last time, I thought I was in pretty good shape. And then when I got the routine, um, just the first week I was so sore. And so what I don't want to do, I want to try to build up now so that it's not like when I get my routine, um, you know, my workouts that I'm just going to be like, so sore that I can't walk or work out for like a week. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I actually, um, I filmed a video yesterday morning of the current workout that I'm doing at home. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I've been doing this for like, so I've been going to the gym and walking for like six months, pretty much every single day, um, getting like seven to 10,000 steps a day in. And then a couple months ago, maybe two or three months, I started doing a lower body workout. Um, whenever I got home from the gym, I have this machine called a booty sprout and um, I'll use that. And then actually, I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Like I think I'll clip this with my workout video and I will just talk through my workout that I do every day with that. So um, yeah, so not, really anything to update on the progress. Uh, I think my weight uh, has gone down maybe a couple of pounds, but again, I'm not like trying to lose weight or really make any drastic changes at this point. It's just kind of getting in the routine. And so I will um, show you what my current uh, workout routine is that I do in the morning after I get back from doing a little bit of walking um, and cardio at the gym. Okay, so this was the thing I mentioned. This is uh, called the Booty Sprout, and it's basically a machine for you to do hip thrusters. I bought it a couple of years ago off of, um, I think from an Instagram ad. 
and I hadn't really been using it and so I thought you know what I've got this machine at home I might as well um, start using it because I like this a little bit better it's probably I don't know it may probably not as effective as like using a barbell with weights um, but I think it's pretty effective if you like up the tension so that band there is about I think it's 45 pounds of tension and then I've got some other bands um, that you can add on additionally to add more tension but I'm just starting with this one and so what I normally do is I will do um, three sets of ten and then I will do these little like I don't know what you call them clamshells um, yeah I think I was just gonna film just one but I think I ended up clipping all three videos together so here you can see all three of my sets so don't mind the cat hair on my pants I have six cats and um, yeah I, I guess I need to clean my floor a little bit but I don't know I'm not sure if my form is right on these but it I can feel it working for sure um, in my glutes and my I forget what that muscle is called but I was watching a bunch of bodybuilding videos like last year when I was like really really gonna do it and they were talking about um, kind of like that line where it connects like your thigh to your glute and how that stand sticks out um, in the back pose and I feel like I definitely feel that working whenever I do that and with these I can feel it kind of like on the side um, of my glutes and so I think it's I feel like I'm getting some some work done with this but yeah here's um, my third set of ten like I said I've been doing this for about um, two or three months I will just come home from the gym and I'll just get it done right away after I get back from the gym um, and I've been doing the same thing I haven't really upped I've thought about I can probably I'm sure I could up the tension I may try that next week throw another band on there but I don't know for now I feel like it's good I feel like I'm getting some results from it in my last video I talked about how I I feel the muscle in my in my legs and in my butt like it it feels solid I feel like I'm super muscular there but then I look in the mirror and it's not showing and I know it's because of my diet and I need to um, really diet and I don't think that's gonna be a problem like when I'm ready um, I don't know I just don't feel like I need to right now just yet okay so this is the part two of my lower body workout and so I just, um, I've been doing squats and this is one area where I have come a really long way over the last two months. Um, because I just do 20 squats. And when I first started doing this, I, I've always had trouble doing squats. It wasn't that like I couldn't squat and get up. It was that whenever I would squat down very far, I would feel like I was going to fall over backwards. Um, and so the way I got over that to get like a deeper squat without feeling like I'm going to fall over is I would do it in the same spot and I would grab on to the side of my desk. And so for like a month or two, as I would go down, I would use, I would hold on to the sides of my desk to like stabilize me. Um, and I think in two, like, I don't know if I do it in this video, but generally whenever I finish, I kind of like stay down squatted and I try to like kind of stretch out whatever like muscles or tendons are, are there to like get low in the squat. So I'll spend a little bit of time just kind of like stretching while I'm squatted down. And I think that's really helped because I could feel, I feel like I can get pretty low in my squat now and not go off balance. Um, and so yeah, it's definitely improved. So what I normally do here is I'll do um, just 20. And I've stuck to 20 for this whole time for the last couple of months. Um, but it's just kind of increased in the intensity. I've gotten deeper and deeper. And like I said, I've moved from um, 
grabbing onto the desk to trying to do it with no hands. So yeah, I would grab onto the desk like that when I was doing my squats and just kind of use it to stabilize me. And then, yeah, I'll just do these little stretches just to get everything like really loose and stretched out. And so that's the lower body. Another thing I've been doing is a plank and I'll try to film this later on, I guess, again, um, in another video at a different angle. Cause now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like I'm staying very flat, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I am like, I don't know. I feel like I have pretty good form on this, but I don't think you can see it in the video here. And that was me trying to show it a little bit better, but I've only been holding it for 60 seconds. And I, the original plan was to increase it, um, like every week or every month. At one point, like a year or two ago, I'd gotten up to holding a five minute plank. I mean, it killed me, but I'd gotten to that point, but I thought that I could raise up from a minute, but like a minute is still hard for me. Oh, there's my roommate. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just sticking to a minute plank I'm every sorry. day. <laughs> no, you're fine. Just to throw you're in close. like kind of the core and like whole body just a little bit. Um, and then recently, like two or three weeks ago, I started throwing in the arms. And like with my lower body, after just a couple of weeks already, I feel like I'm feeling the difference. Like my arms already feel like stronger and more toned, like for me feeling it myself, but I don't see much of a difference yet, but I'll just do these, um, side raises. I'll do 10. I don't really have like this routine down completely, but it's pretty close. I'll normally do 10 side raises and I'm only using five pound weights. Like I could definitely go up in my weights, but I'm just sticking to what's easy and what I can do every day. So I'm just doing five pounds, um, for now. So 10 side raises, 10 front raises. Just try to keep it slow and controlled. Um, Cause that's one thing I'm like really trying to work on at this point is getting my form. Um, so then whenever I do like later on increase the weight and start doing different exercises, using machines at the gym and stuff, I'll have good form hopefully and won't have any injuries because that was one thing whenever I really like whenever I tried I started training last summer was I felt like I stepped it up a lot way too fast and um I was having some pain like not pain but like just some tension kind of in my upper back um and one of my knees a little bit and same thing like later on last year I started trying to run um, incorporate some running and I'm not a very good runner, <laughs> but I was doing it. Like I was getting like several miles in, um, just on the treadmill, but I was starting to like feel some, uh, tension in one of my knees. And ever since I've gotten back to just walking, I haven't, I don't have any pains or, or anything like that. And none of this has caused me like, what doesn't feel like there's been any pain or strain. So yeah, I just did, so I did the side raises, the front raises, I'll do like 10 bicep curls, and then I put the dumbbells together over my head, and then I'll do, I'm doing like a tricep extension, I guess, and then I'll do like 15 of those, um, or 20, I don't know. Really, it just changes day by day, depending on how much I want to do, but generally I'll do like 10 of each then I think after this so yeah I think those are dumbbell shoulder press and I remember from working out before like I'm not like working out for the bodybuilding just yet I'm just doing like basic strength exercises um but I remember like the shoulders were a big thing like the shoulders it seemed like a lot of the workouts were like shoulders and back. So I'm kind of trying to build up some strength in that. Um, and then here I've been doing some kind of 
kind of bent over flies. I'm not 100% sure on my form on this. Um, I had trained with a, a girl um, towards the end of last year, and she would have me do these kind of bent over on a on a bench, and uh, she would tell me to like squeeze my shoulder blades in, act like I'm squeezing like a penny between my shoulder blades. And then yeah, I just threw these in the other day. I started adding some kind of bent over rows, just trying to focus and isolate on my back. And I think after this, oh uh, yeah. So I recently, like two days ago, started adding in these um, upright rows and I don't know, like, I feel like, I was talking to my roommate about this, I feel like a lot of these workouts are kind of hitting my traps, um, and I'm not sure if that's something that is good for a bikini, but, yeah, I probably should, at some point over the next month or two, like, really look at doing exercises that would be, uh, beneficial for bikini competition because bikini is different than like is it figure or physique figure um like the body type that they're looking for and the different types is a little bit different so I just want to make sure that I'm training like for the right category and then yeah I try to finish it out um with these curls and I think I'll do like 10 of those and then I'm, I've started switching it up between those and bicep curls oh yeah one thing that I struggled with a lot whenever I trained before was my grip strength and I feel like holding the dumbbells like this and just doing all these slow controlled movements one after the other I definitely feel it in my forearms and my grip and so um, that's another thing that I'm wanting to build up before I start training with heavier weights because there was a lot of times that I I could lift the heavier weights but my grip would not hold on to them and so I want to try to not have that problem this go around so I think that's probably pretty close to the end I usually finish off with these and I just kind of like try to do I don't burn out on these but um just do it to where it's burning pretty good so yeah that is my daily workout right now